everyone, this is your instructor Joy. So this is the piece that we're going to work on today. us work less and it sounds nicer. So first, when you have fast passages happening, fast string crossings, you want to make sure you release the weight of the bow um, sooner or later. That way you get a chance to relax and regain the control over your bow and also allows the violin to, um, to resonate. So, and then I do a little and then relax. Yeah, so after each note, I take the weight off the bow, but I don't take the bow off the string. That would be too dangerous because you will lose the control. So leave the bow on the string, just a little weight. I like that. And as you notice that I do a little accent of the beginning of each bowing. Um, not, not only because uh, there is an accent mark done by Paganini, but also when it's high position on inner strings, uh, it doesn't speak as clearly as first position or um, yeah, first position or second position notes. So I have to help a little so that uh, help with the bowing so that note speaks well, like I hear yeah. So of course I exaggerate a bit so that you guys see what you mean. So, so at the beginning a little heavy and then release like that. You're wondering what happens if I don't because there's no um, accent mark actually by Paganini. So I'll play with that accent in those inner strings so that you get to hear how it sounds. Yeah, so it's, it's there but kind of mumbles, it's not really clear. I mean, if you like that one, then of course you're free to pick that way. I personally find it better when it's a little accented, a little uh, weight was given at the beginning, but release that one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Also here. Now here, I do same thing also because it's a higher position G string. So I do, I help uh, the note to speak better by giving a little um, weight at the beginning of a bow stroke, but release. Yeah? What happens if I don't? Yeah? It, I find it a little too unclear. I mean, it's a personal choice maybe, but I prefer this one. I find that better. So then, the next one, there are uh, two lines going on. And then here, um, I treat it as a secondary or echo, therefore I get really, really soft. And the dip. And then main, main line again. And then here, secondary. Yeah. Make sure that speaks. There's a big changes of G to E string. Um, normally, when there's a big string crossings, I encourage people to do rather middle or fro, where the angle of the string change are smaller. However, this particular one, I chose to the tip because I find it it's easier to make the notes speak, and I want to do a little diminuendo and a ritardando, so get softer and slower to create the mood of it's finishing so that works better for me to do at the tip even though I have to compromise uh, working so I have to work with a little uncomfortable uh, quite a lot of uh, adjusting of your right arm but I still find this is better option so that's what I did Remember from other videos when you 
the string crossings, you also have to anticipate uh, with your height of your right arm before you go to the next string. And that's also really, really crucial when you do that one. Um, let's say, very beginning. Near the end, I raise my bow, uh, my arm to prepare to be on A string, even though I'm not A yet. Now I'm already on A, but as soon as I hit the A, I lower my elbow again, so that I'm ready to go back to E. And then, ready? Ready? Do you see that? I lower again. Even though I'm still on D string, I lower my elbow beforehand, so that I'm ready to go E string. I like that. So you're wondering, what happens if I don't? Um, it sounds abrupt and then probably it's easy, easier to lose control like this. Yeah, you have to move all part at once and you are taking greater risk. So you want to move each part at a different timing so that you, you can, you have higher chance to gain the control. Same again. So um, I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching, thank you for sending me nice questions, comments and donations, please be encouraged to keep sending me your questions. I hope to see you again, bye bye.